Right, so I've just mixed up some of this light lavender colour, the one that we used up there basically, it's the same one. And it's going to be a bit dark because it's going to be a path we're coming through now, coming through here. So, I made it a bit lighter just so you can see, it stands out from that behind. It's a little pathway that's just going to vanish off into the distance over there. All the time I'm doing this, it's mixing. I've got white on there and the lavender colour also. So that colour is actually going to come through from into this path. It's going to be a path we're coming through. So I'm just going to blend it out first to there. And it's going to get slightly darker as it comes towards us. So just in here. in first the blue, the mauve, put that colour in there, that's it, a bit darker and darker, the further it goes, so what we'll do is we'll just brush that in first, just get wider as it comes towards us, I'll get a bit of a darker colour just in here, and I'll make it look dark as it comes towards us there with that lighter in the background so it's graduation basically a soft graduation between the two now i'm just seeing we're going to have a few like little rocks just thinking in here maybe just there a little rock or something Use the liner brush. I'll just come underneath that. Just down to that there. Quite a bit of dark just in that area. That and it's more or less just in silhouette. Just in silhouette. And we've got a few little bushes and stuff at the side of that as well. So, be very careful. Just in there. Little bush. A tiny bush. Just growing at the side of that. Now we'll actually push a dark shadow in just in here under this tree. Forget this tree is even there, I'll go back over it again in a bit. get completely there, that tree's even there. Don't worry about it, we can put that back in easily. Now, we're going to start bringing a few greens in now. So I'll just put on some cadmium yellow. We've already got blue on the brush, on the fan brush, you can just run into that 
and it should instantly turn for us. So there you go, a nice green. Tap into that paint. It works well with a bit of dark as well as light on there. And I'm just going to tap up into there and put some little grassy spots in. They'll only just stand out. Only just. They'll stand out more in the areas where it's lighter. That's why I left a few little light spots up in there. See that? Same up in there. It's a bit of grass going on. Put it into the shadows. There you go. So from here, into the shadows. Slightly. You see, then what happens is, when you come in front of that, which we will be doing. You use a lighter green. You get a little bit of the white show through as well. Just in there. We'll have some of this lovely green. It's going to come right on through actually, right through to here. Remember, don't fill all the white. Leave some of the white showing through just for now. darker than it is now but this pit, this green will be much darker because we're going to bring and introduce darks into it after I put this highlight colour on there I'm going to put this on with a bigger brush but I like to use it because it gives you all these little details in there as well as same up in here that because I want it to be a bit more to the green. Same in there, a bit of blue. I should just change the hue of that green from it slightly. That's why I'm putting that blue over the top. I want it to just change that hue so it's a bit more greeny rather than just the yellow. Same in here where I put all this. Softly, so it's not over bright. Just in there. Yeah. Something going on. You can just make out. And then in there, it's going to be brighter. Yet again, the trees are actually there, don't worry about that. Right over the lot. Again, the black, the blue, the crimson, the yellow to that. So you've got a dark green, really good dark green there. And with that, you can actually go back into some of these areas. See how I run out of colour first over here? I wanted it to run out of colour slightly so that I can just go back and here and there I can just tap a bit more dark in, especially in the shadows. Yeah, 
you need these bits of dark on here because this, this grass is quite dark. Dark at this back edge back here. I don't any light getting in there at all. Next to nothing. There we go. And then just have to come back in here and put a little bit more of these shadows in. So I make it balance out a bit more with this side. Especially at the edge of the path where even in there you see you want to create in, indicate that there's some shadows of that grass on there. If you want an area particularly dark, it should go like so. I want it predominantly dark, but if I'm going to do it dark, I want it on the edges. Not in here. And back in here. So I'll get my brown again, black, a bit of water, I'll just pull this to where I want it to be now. Right, well I'm just going to continue this uh, grassy area. There are some lovely flowers and stuff that's going to be in there as well. So I'm just going to tap some of that in there. Some of the dark on the brush as well here. Yeah. So just in there. A few different shades of green as well, it's nice to have that. Remember to get your darks, which go back in with the darker acrylic over the top, with the darker green. Right over the top with that bright one, which will then be separated by this dark shadow here. Indications for them, that 
bit of grass there just to separate that from the path slightly. But then here was very dark. And that is your separator. See that pathway just more or less just disappears just in here actually disappears on us. Again I can get a bit more of the blue with the yellow and then just here and there I can change the hue of that slightly but a few of them so it's a bit more like the rest shadow first and maybe a bit back there where I want it to be a bit more shadowed also and then come back into here now and just put a bit of dark here in there afterwards. I'm just putting the shadow on first. This time. Something like that. Maybe there's a bit that comes out into the path just here. Another little area. So, and then again, I'm just going to put some more dark in for some of these. I'll re-highlight again and make them more vibrant, but you need a shadow for them. Even for these up in here, I'll need a shadow. So clean that brush off now, and then straighten my yellows again. that yellow then I can go over here and actually just indicate some there's something in there and you can come back and brighten up afterwards we'll do that shortly come back and we'll make it a bit brighter Actually. So I'm just getting that dark brown colour again and then just in here I'm going to use the dark brown and the black so brown and black basically and this is going to be for the path and the path goes from this colour in the foreground which is quite dark and then it'll get lighter as it comes up in here into this area 
good dark colour first and then it blends off into this use that dark in there, see that? Just give it a little indication of a, a pathway a walkway coming through there and with this I want it to slightly sparkle in the light I'm just going to put a bit of that light in there first As the canvas is textured, I can just go in and just very gently just tap the tiniest amount of that as it vanishes away in the distance into that blue hue, which it disappears into that blue colour. So I want it bright in there, and then it's good and dark in here. Gently going over that gives you all sorts of little things that look beautiful. Just let it disappear off now, right back there, so you can't see it anymore. Now I want this path to be quite a bit wider actually, just for the moment. So I want to use the brown black again, and then just in here it's going to be darker. See that tree is giving a shadow off as well. All these trees are so we'll go back in with this dark colour now and we can just put some indications of light then. It's in it. You know the areas where it would be darkest, like underneath here. So you can just pull out from that. See that just pull out with that shadow into the path. Same in there, you can get shadows all the way through that part. Tiny bit of darking with that lighter colour really fits well. In fact, I might actually bring this path right down there because it's going right through here. Make it bigger because it's uh, closer to you, it'll get bigger. Another little trick. By doing that, it looks like these bushes are actually growing up around it. And then up in here, gently, a few more shadows. Don't overdo that. I want to keep that predominantly light because it's sunlight coming through, you see. But we've now got some lovely dappled shade and dappled light going on, so there's just the flowers now for me to finish. I'm going to actually paint some flowers on here very soon. Alright, we're just brown and black on my brush. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to paint an actual tree that's snapped off. 
It's had a tough old life and it's, uh, it's died. And it's snapped off. It's just in there. I want it to look like it's frayed on that edge. colour basically and then you can uh, just come back in here and put a few little highlights in don't want much though just a little bit there's something showing on that I actually like to go back in with the dark again afterwards as well so I'll just go back up with that dark colour into it and just leave the ends highlighted Maybe that tree actually fell over here. So it's still actually clinging on. There's this tree on its last legs, though. Maybe that's just simply going down into the grass down in there. Right, I'm just going to use a palette knife. I like to use a palette knife with acrylic sometimes, it really works. Uh, and that's just basically falling right down into the grass down there and passed away. So now I'll go back and I'll get a bit of highlight, brown and white. Just put a tiny highlight on the top edge all the way along. Yeah. Just along that top edge though. Underneath it wants to still be dark. So just go back to your darks again and then just put a tiny bit of that back in. Right there we go. So I think we're going to call this painting finished. Thank you everybody. Really enjoyed painting this painting for you all. It's been a pleasure to do it. <laughs>